For 12 years, I parked in the same spot at work, without fail. It wasn't company parking, just public, but we all knew the drill. Employees parked in the back so customers could have the front spots. Everyone knew my spot. But one day, when I got there for my 4 a.m. shift, it was taken. A dark, tinted Cadillac sat there instead, and I was instantly irritated. No one else could have taken it. I knew all their cars. So maybe a newbie or someone from another shop in the plaza? The Cadillac stayed parked there through lunch and even until I left for home. The next day, I came in at 1 p.m. and worked till close. By 9.30 p.m., the car was still there. It was starting to get weird. Something about it felt off. And it smelled wrong. Really wrong. This was the South in high summer, and you could almost feel the heat baking whatever was inside that car. My dad was a Marine and then a police officer, and he always told me, if something feels wrong, it probably is. That advice kept running through my mind, so I decided to call the non-emergency police line. I felt silly for doing it. I mean, it was probably nothing, but every time I walked by that car, it just nagged at me. I waited over an hour before anyone showed up. Honestly, if I hadn't been off the next day, I probably would have just given up. But my petty side kept me there because, hey, that was my spot. When the police arrived, they seemed annoyed, and I didn't blame them. Who knows how many someone's-in-my-spot calls they get. But then things got serious. They ran the plates, and suddenly, they wanted all my info. Asked if I had touched the car, wanted to talk to my manager, asked if there were cameras in the lot. Turns out the car was linked to an Amber Alert, the last sighting of a 15-year-old girl who had gone missing. They popped the trunk, and that's when it hit me. The smell. I was right to be disturbed. Inside the trunk, they found her body. She'd been tortured and stuffed under a blanket. The girl had gone out with her much older, controlling boyfriend, but she had decided to end things with him. Tragically, she made the mistake of getting into the car with him one last time. He drove across multiple counties, did God knows what to her, and then just abandoned the car with her in the trunk. I never found out exactly when she died. And sometimes I wonder, if I had called earlier, could she have been saved? I'll never know. But what I do know is to always trust your gut. Even if it feels petty, it might make all the difference.